Hey, what's up guys, it's Jonathan, and today I wanna to talk to you about the Red Hydrogen One and what it's all about. So first of all, to understand what the Red Hydrogen One is, you gotta understand who Red is. Red is a camera manufacturer known all across the globe for making high-end cameras used in broadcast, movies, TV shows, documentaries, even photographers have been known to use Red cameras in magazine shoots or other high-end photo shoots. So the cameras that Red makes are like the ones that you see right here. You have the Red Weapon, which is this camera, and then you have the Red Epic W, which is this camera. This particular model shoots in 8K, whereas this one shoots in 6K. I haven't upgraded it yet to the 8K model, but the current weapon does shoot in 8K. So they have very high resolution cameras, they are very modular, and they have incredible sensors that can capture a lot of dynamic range, which is pretty much their standalone features in terms of what they offer over some of the other chemi manufacturers on the market, making these cameras very expensive. Going back to the Red Hydrogen One, what is it? It's a smartphone. It's a smartphone that runs Android. It's going to be a multimedia powerhouse in the sense that it's going to provide high-end audio with a DAC or some type of amplifier built inside of it. Plus, it's going to have a 4D display or holographic display. So you can view material on your screen in all different aspects. Now, they didn't get into detail about the actual specifications, the amount of RAM, the internals, processor, GPU, anything like that. None of that was listed. They did say it would include an SD card slot and they're talking about it like it's a special awesome bonus that you're getting with this phone. When in fact that a lot of smartphone manufacturers have been including SD card slots for a long time now. So I don't really find that to be like a special feature. It's also going to include a USB-C port and a headphone jack, which can be seen on the image that Red released with the announcement of this particular product. For more details and specifics on the Red Hydrogen One, make sure you check out the link in the description of this video, and it will take you over to the exact announcement that Red posted. Now you can pre-order this phone right now. For the aluminum model, it's gonna set you back 1200 bucks. For the titanium model, it's gonna set you back 1600 bucks, which is a lot of money for a company that is not known for producing smartphones. Now, one thing that you should be aware of is if you pre-order right now, they're going to take their money right now. That money is going to go towards the research and development of this product. So it's kind of like a Kickstarter, but if it fails, you will get your money back. Or if you choose to cancel your pre-order, you will be refunded. So as I said in the beginning, one of the key features about a RED camera is their modularity. You can replace the handle, the control unit on the side with a different handle, or you can get something called a sidekick. You can replace the monitor with a smaller one or a larger one, or you can get like an EVF. You can switch out the lens mount, the optical low pass filters. Even some bodies allow you to switch out the sensor depending on the internals of the camera. So when it comes to modularity and switching your camera up, RED is pretty much king and they do a fantastic job. They're taking this technology and throwing it into a smartphone, but why? So a little bit before the announcement of the Hydrogen One, some schematics leaked online showcasing that RED was making a smartphone that would be fully modular and you could buy different camera mods to allow you to shoot in four, five, six, or 8K resolution. And of course, depending on compression, you could even shoot in RAW. The actual smartphone would act as a brain, similar to just a box that RED sells you as a camera. And then you could buy different mods or different um, components to build onto that smartphone to make it what you want. Of course, different sensors are going to cost you different amounts of money. Uh, the higher the resolution, the more your pocket is going to be empty. But Red never said that the Hydrogen One was coming with the camera. And if we look at the image, a lot of people might be mistaken to think that that dark circle at the top is a camera. I beg to differ. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a quick look at this image that Red released and analyze it. If you take a look at the connector at the bottom, it's the same exact connection that is on a DSMC squared RED camera. So that means it's going to accept similar components to their camera brains or their camera bodies, however you wanna look at it. As I said, this particular smartphone is going to act as a brain for a whole new system. So going up, you have the red logo. Now the red logo is the same exact logo found on the front of their cameras, except the hydrogen one kind of looks hollowed out on the bottom a little bit. And I think this is going to act as an exhaust solution to get rid of some of that hot air, because yes, if it can shoot at high resolutions and it's also pumping out a high res display, it's going to have a lot of heat inside of it. So they need some serious exhaust fans. So I think this is one fan. 
Now moving on down, you have that large black circle that a lot of people think is a camera, but it looks a lot like a fan found on their cameras. If you look at the design, the structure, the details, and go deep into the shadows, it really, really looks like a fan found on a DSMC squared body. So Red has a cycle on upgrades. They release a sensor, then the next year they release a body. They release a sensor, then the next year they release a body. And this year, technically, they're supposed to be releasing new camera bodies. So if you think about it, this would line up perfectly with a new body and act as a display, especially given that there is a connector on the bottom of this. Now, Red already said that this can be paired up with your DSMC squared cameras once it comes out, and you'll be able to utilize a wireless connection to control the camera as well as act as a viewfinder. And if you look at it from that aspect, it's really not that expensive. Let me just explain. This monitor and this monitor are very similar in price. They're both seven inch displays. This is the magnesium and this is a carbon fiber. The carbon fiber retails for almost $3,000. This retails for $2,800. The smaller five inch monitor is about 1400 bucks. So if you already own a red camera, the red hydrogen one makes complete sense because it gives you the capability of having a wireless display. So if you do a lot of uh, droning or you use your red on a gimbal, you're gonna be able to use the red hydrogen one as an external wireless display and it costs less than one of their monitors that are already on the market. So to wrap this thing up, I wouldn't look at the hydrogen one as just a phone, because it's not just a phone. If you are in the red ecosystem, it is a wireless display that is going to allow you to adapt different things onto it in the future, potentially making it a red point and shoot that runs Android and it's an all-in-one solution so that way you can use your phone as your display, as a camera, everything that you need and you can get a pristine image. If you're not in the red ecosystem, it doesn't make as much sense for you. So $1,500 or $1,200 is a lot of money, especially when you think that these mods are not going to be cheap. And I'm gonna leave you with that. Regardless of my feelings towards the company, I definitely support modularity in smartphones and I think that this could potentially be a powerhouse of a phone and I'm all for that. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or hit me up on social. Make sure you subscribe for future content and more content like this and I will talk to you in the next one. Be easy.